open the payment journal form and create a new payment journal. Generally, payment journals are grouped by the type of deposit by day, and that information is being reflected in the description. Then click on Enter Customer Payments. The first method of entering customer payments is to search for an open invoice and select that open invoice. This brings in the customer number, the check amount, and settles that invoice. So all that's left is to enter the payment reference and choose deposit slip. Then click Save and Journal. The second method is to use the customer selection to choose the customer and then select invoices related to that customer. Enter the payment amount and then mark the invoices for settlement. Amount to pay can be modified if an invoice was short paid. Then click Save and Journal. Once the payments are finished, the journal can be posted. Navigate into Lines and choose to post the journal. If you've used the Deposit Slip function, navigate to Functions Deposit Slip. Key in the Deposit Slip date and make sure this date is the same as your posting date. Click OK and then click OK once more to print a Deposit Slip report. 